Hello and welcome to Bar 20 Arms. Today we're going to do something, well we're going to do a comparison between a full metal jacket and a Tula Ammo, what they call a full metal jacket. Now quick comparison offhand, we have a typical full metal jacket, it's a 55 grain mil spec, of course we loaded this, but it's a 55 grain mil spec, lead core, copper jacketed to make the full jacketed, full metal jacket bullet. Then we have a Tula Ammo. I'm going to get in close here and show you. We actually cut it in two here so that you can see it. But this is a lead core, but it is steel jacketed bullet. It's a lead core with steel jacket. Here's ours, 55 grain, and here's theirs, steel core. Or, I'm sorry, steel jacketed, lead core. Now, there appears to be somewhat of a copper color to it. We can't figure out if it's actually copper or not. You can scratch it very easily with a pocket knife and immediately see silver. So it's either a paint or a very, very, very thin layer of copper. Regardless, it's not going to do your barrel much good. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot one round of each into this box of sand. And we're going to attempt to recover the bullet. Once we do that, we're going to look at the comparison between the riflings on our 55 grain full metal jacket and the riflings on the tool ammo. If the riflings are different, if if they're deeper or you know they're deeper within the the full metal jacket, then we'll know that this tool ammo is hard enough that it's not leaving riflings. So that equates to barrel wear. It's going to eventually over time it's going to wear. So anyway, let's get up there and shoot, capture these two bullets and take a look and see. All right, we shot our bullets into the uh, sand, and uh, this is what we got. So uh, that's not helpful. So uh, we ended up changing. You can probably still see it down there. We got a box down there. We filled with newspapers, wet them down real good, and we finally got our uh, capture here. And um, I'll show you which is which. Now you're not gonna be able to see. Uh, we underestimated, of course, the diameter of the bullet being 223. It's hard to capture on video. Um, there's our magnetic Tula one, and here's here's mine. Okay, so what we got here, there's a, a very noticeable difference in the riflings on the two bullets. The Tula, the uh, or the 55 grain full metal jacket bullet has very sharp, deep grooves cut into the copper. You can tell easily where the riflings are. They're easily visible. You can actually even scratch them with your fingernail. They're very deep in the copper. Here's our Tula. And they're not. They're, you, there's riflings, but they're barely there. They're barely visible. Um, the, the, the bullet doesn't conform to the riflings near as well. So they're just kind of barely there, like it barely, the bullet went through the riflings, but they just didn't take. So the bullet didn't actually conform to the riflings, um, whereas this one did. Now this is a steel jacketed lead core. This is a lead core with a copper jacketed. The copper is too conform to the barrel, which is going to, so here's what we got. You can't see it very well on, on, on the camera, this is the diameter of the bullet. So we're going to amp it up a little bit. We're going to do the same test with 308. And that way we can show you on the camera. And um, that way you can see it for yourself very, very easily. It's just hard to film on camera with this small, small of a bullet here. But uh, we'll cut it off here and we'll do a 308 test. Tula versus uh, the equal full metal jacket bullet. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Come back and see us soon here at Bar 20 Arms.